Now, this next gentleman, he has some extensive credits, so I asked him to write them down because, you know, I'm on Ambien. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that he gets all his information put out there. You've seen him in commercials for Toyota as Checkers, the driving instructor. <laughs> I don't have a TV. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guys. Missing out on this checker shit. And for Gander Mountain as the unprepared man. Yeah. He's also the creator of the YouTube sensation Shit Horse Players Say. Hello. Yeah. It's good stuff. Please give it up for the very funny Mr. Steve Brady. an audience. Wow, these beautiful women. Some of you uh, showing some leg, that's nice. <laughs> Actually, that's a very good sign. I don't know if any of you took economics, but there's a maxim of economics called the hemline theory. And the hemline theory states that there's a correlation between the strength of the economy and the length of women's skirts. So when, when skirts are long, usually that's a sign of a bad economy. And uh, when things are doing better, the skirts get a little shorter. So, looking around the room, and I'd say the economy's doing pretty well. <laughs> Either that or you're, you're all a bunch of sluts. <laughs> uh, my name is Steve Brady. I'm 52 years old. I'm single. That means I pretty much engage in the activities of 52-year-old single men. I watch golf on TV, and I watch horses run around a racetrack. Uh, now, I, I do like watching uh, hor uh, golf on weekend mornings. There's one thing you hear over and over during any golf telecast. And it's, it's amazing, it doesn't matter how many you watch, everyone, you hear this over and over. The word golf. It's like, well, that's a really nice golf track, Joe. What do you think of his golf swing? Oh no, he landed in the golf bunker. It's like we got it. It's like, it's golf. The golf is implied. I mean, why do you think I'm laying here on my ass watching someone else exercise on a Saturday morning? <laughs> The other place it happens is the track. You, uh, I always think the guy goes, well, I really like the number two horse. He's moving up against some tougher horses. And the jockeys are always at the interviewed after the race, like, well, you know, I got to the top of the stretch. And I can tell I have a lot of horse underneath me. Even the grooms, you know, the grooms are those guys that walk the horses out to the track and walk around in a circle. Uh, mostly they're Latin American. And if you listen to other conversations, there was like, caballo, 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 caballo. That's horse in Spanish. We got it. Use a pronoun. Uh, oh, well, I want to tell you, so this is good. Um, I was becoming too much of a track degenerate. And I thought I should do something more productive with my time, so I decided to take up horseback riding lessons, right? I thought that's the great way to combine my passion for horses with something more active and you know, really valuable. So now I'm not blowing my money at the track anymore. I'm blowing all my money at the stable. Horseback riding's expensive. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and I got this, it's great though, I've been doing it a few months, and I've got this very attractive horseback riding instructor. She's, uh, she's you know, she's young, she's, she's good looking, she's blonde, she's Belgian, she's got this sexy European accent, you know, she wears those tight riding breeches with the boots and the riding crop, you know. So, uh, as I'm riding around, She's always yelling out stuff in French to me. So I'm kind of learning French at the same time I'm learning how to ride a horse. She's always like, you know, Allez! Voila! Très bien! 
it's not hard for me to incorporate these things in my sexual fantasies. <laughs> You know what I don't understand is morning wood. Is there any, anybody get like a biologist, a understand, physiologist can explain this to me? I go to bed at night, nothing unusual. I wake up in the morning, bam, I got a heart on. What happened? I, didn't, I had nothing to do with it. If I, unless I had some horny dream that I wasn't aware of during the night, or maybe there's something about my, my blood pressure. I don't know. Well, then, I think it's I think it's the cock ring I put on before I went to bed. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my time, and I'm going. Thank you. That is the funniest I have ever seen David Spade be. <laughs> He's gotten so much better. Uh, Steve Brady. <laughs> I get over Steve Brady. Alright. Hilarious. <laughs>